welcome to another episode with me. My name is Chacha Wabara. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. Today, we'll be reviewing the movie 365 Days. It's a Polish movie. It's a Netflix movie released in June 2020 um, in the United States. And at the moment, it is grossing over $9.4 million. It has... I'm going to give you the main actors in this movie. Their names are... Michelle Moron and Anna Maria Ikloska. Yeah. So, you know, amongst other actors and act actresses. This is my first time reviewing this type of movie. I always stay on the safe side, which is the um, Nigerian movies, Chinese, Thai, or Korean movies. But um, this movie made an impression on me. And I just decided to take a leap to, you know, explore. Since we're in the season of exploration, because whoa wow 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 i saw this movie a long time ago actually i've just been gathering my liver this movie is a romantic movie that borders on a story now the story is about laura is a sales director working in a luxurious hotel in warsaw okay and uh, massimo is from a mafia family in sicily now he took over leadership when his dad was killed as he was dying or as he was losing it because he too got shot when his dad was killed okay so the bullet passed through massimo's dad to his chest and all of that so as he was you know losing consciousness he sees a vision in quote of Laura and according to him he fell in love with Laura so he met Laura before but um, he vowed that he was going to make her is for five years he had been searching for Laura all around the world just when he was almost giving up um, hope that he was going to find her he sees her in that resort where Laura incidentally had gone with her boyfriend who never used to pay attention to her who you know she was feeling dissatisfied with the relationship and of course uh, had no active sexual life yeah so you know along the line he meets her and uh, yeah okay that scene that's all those things you know were scattered the place that made sense to me was when the movie started and um you know when his father was shot that's mafia thing that gang thing i could understand that now moving forward we we'll see where she was she was running everywhere because she was angry she ran out of the resort or the hotel into a place she didn't know she would not miss her way because of the you know the confusing directions and all of that and then somebody kidnaps her and then she has an underlying health you know heart condition and um that too so now she wakes up when she wakes up she sees this guy she doesn't know where she is she's like who are you please release me what do you want with me blah 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 ah, somewhat i could understand that part so um he lets her leave the room and she comes into um well, call it now the living room or the sitting room and sees a picture of her of herself and like he now starts to tell her the story and she's like this and he now gives her a condition like okay you know what i'm going to release you after one year i would let you go after one year if after that one year um, you don't fall in love with me that sounds so real now this movie you know i was still you know wanted a romantic movie to see and i was still watching the movie i was like okay it can be it can be worse than any movie i've seen so i'm looking at it and hey <laughs> the scenes started happening you know of him trying to arouse her and trying to show how sexually attractive he is what she's missing you know and all of that and then what struck me was that uh, begins to lean on the side of getting arose with him and begins to get tempted to try out things with him and all so i'm like okay stockholm syndrome much and then moving further now she now assumes that role of oh okay i'm the woman that massimo wants i'm the woman that maximo can do without it and i can do anything i want i can spend any as much as i want to get what i want i can enjoy the best things of life she begins to accept it and not think there's anything wrong with getting captured or getting kidnapped and in a mafia family she just assumes it she's not scared the movie was going on and then someone else was singing somewhere 
you know they could have just have uploaded those songs on youtube or need to be like almost the one of the dominant teachers of the movie so it was like a huge turn off for me but it helped you know mute those sounds but you don't have taken over I didn't find it funny. People just kept on singing and singing and singing. Of course, the movie contained everything you will see in 18 plus movie. Mafia, drugs, sex, murder, fighting. You know, all the things you'll find in all those mafia related movies. It was there, however, short lived. Um, it wasn't uh, much of it. But then the story, I, I wasn't understanding the story at all. Okay, when Mazimo came back again, he was like he had sorted it out with um, his ex girlfriend and everything was okay. And then they went back into the the sex scenes again the sex scenes were too prominent were too dominant but hey okay i'm not complaining but now this story are we talking about sex or are we talking about a mafia related movie hinging on romance but then talking about because if it's a romantic movie true and true then laura shouldn't have been kidnapped again you know when mazimo is the mafia lord laura shouldn't have been kidnapped and just look at the time when Maximo got to know that something was wrong with Laura when they were coming back. They didn't even know that there was a hit on Laura and everything was just scattered. That was where they started losing it and the end of the movie was just not it at all. But taking control of that romance side, they really pulled it off properly you know they pulled it off properly and it was a good one i'll be rating it a four stars like kind of like um not really four stars for me maybe three star the was not to like in the movie and then was not to not hate in the movie so i won't say i hate hate the movie i won't say i love love the movie i'm just gonna take what i like from the movie and you know leave the rest for a part two of the movie because i heard uh, there'll be a part two and an evil twin and all of that Ooh, spoiler alert okay all and all that is going to happen in 2022 so i'm just going to leave it there but all in all what do you think were the most outrageous scenes that you saw in the movie was it when it was spitting the god or you know you know so many things please let's share let's share because whoa you know i think it's it's just going to apart from 50 shades of gray and 365 days as you know it's kind of like serving as a stepping stone to something that you know more movies that will come out that will be more outrageous per se because i'm i'm of the opinion that if you don't like this movie then you don't rate it don't watch it because a lot of people came to watch this movie when a lot when there was a lot of noise on you know online about this movie about how explicit it was so if you don't like explicity doing don't do the explicit don't see the explicit as far as i'm concerned so i don't have any problem or any you know reservations about this movie on the face of it and i, I won't i won't say i hate the movie i would also say i like the movie there were some things that didn't just ring true there were some things that um, we could have done without well just hoping that uh, part two of 365 days will be more much better more mature more focused and we'll get the gist of the whole story because right now we're not getting the gist so thank you so much for watching up there you'll see my korean movie reviews my nigerian movie reviews my chinese movie reviews and i'll be waiting for you in my comment section thank you so much for watching bye for now bye